Hey guys, welcome back. It took me like 30 minutes to set up for this video. Why is my earring so big? I don't know. Take me to the game. Today we're gonna play more of the gay lawyer game that we started. Excuse me if I'm in a hoodie for this whole series. My dorm gets extremely cold. Just pretend you don't see it. Okay, so if you didn't see the last episode, I'm gonna link it in the cards above, but we kind of skimmed through the first little trial that we have at the beginning of these Ace Attorney games, and we got through the first part of the second chapter, which is Turnabout Sisters. Today, we're gonna be playing the trial, which is very interesting. I think I may play through the first part of the trial and then the second day of investigation. Okay, so we're going to this day two, which is the trial, and we're just gonna get on with it. September 7th, 10 a.m. District Court room number one. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. I don't know what his voice is gonna be, but I'm just gonna go, um, thank you, your honor. <laughs> the girls are gonna be so bad. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. It's my husband, it's my husband, it's my husband. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir, my name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. The body was found by the window here. Yeah, we know that. And the cause of death, loss of blood being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. The court accepts the statue as evidence again. They're still calling it a statue. Floor pan, pans, pans, pans. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. I'll give you hot. Let me not, let me not, let me not. Y'all know what I was about to say. I quickly shut that down. It was not funny. It was not funny. I'm so sorry. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Did not look good for Miss Maya. I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. When my sister couldn't find any contradictions to a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. You gotta cross-examine this himbo. He gonna mess something up at some point. I love you, hubby, but you gonna mess something up at some point. I already know. I can look. I can see it in your eyes. You're like, I'm kind of unsure. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. How you like that? That's my hard evidence. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Detective Gumshoe, do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name? Sure, it happens all the time in books and movies. This isn't a movie, detective. It's a video game, bitch. Here's what it is. Because death was instant, instantaneous, how would she be able to write her name? That's what I think. I'm not sure. I maybe, I presented my attorney badge. Anyways, yeah, I was right. You have it backwards, detective. The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. She died immediately. But. No butting your way out of this one, detective. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have the time to write anything down. I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? W when? The day of the murder. The day after the murder. It was a day after the murder. A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to the blow from a blunt object, but there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. It's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. <laughs> that is all. Autopsy report updated. Okay, so f***ing Edgeworth f***ed us. Love that. April, May. Not her titties jiggling. I cannot. <laughs> Please testify to the court about what she saw. It was like nine o'clock at night. I looked out the window, you know, and then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to the side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her. Ah, she hit her. Uh, 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 yeah. Miss Strawberry Shortcake. Her weeaboo self. No one is doing this damn nyan nya pose anymore, girl. Cannot stand you. Ew. Got no eyelashes. Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? I have not played this in a minute, but I know it's this one because how could she see her slump? How could she go? How could she like go over and see her? Okay. So let's look at this. Yeah, okay. So if she slumped, she wouldn't be able to see her. 
So I'm not going on a whim and present this. Okay, so that was not it. Wow, what are you trying to say? You mean lawyer. I, I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. I did s I, I'm sorry. I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the hippie clothes. Okay. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That clock. Um, it kind of statuey clock. The thinker, I think... How'd she know it was a clock? That's what I thought. Because she shouldn't have known that it's, she shouldn't know that it's a clock. She shouldn't know it's a clock because the whole trial, they've been referring to it as a statue. So caught you, Miss Weaver, stole my last heart. What you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Naughty Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> Chocolate. I heard it say the time. How did you hear it say the time from all the way over there? You are such a bad liar, Miss Weeaboo. That clock is missing the clockwork. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It's as you see, the clock was empty. Take a look at this. Let's hear the conversation. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then, if you could. Uh, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now, huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. September 5th, 927 AM. I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded, which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that the weapon was a clock? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was that again? I got, I got a so many. Did the defense have any objections? Yeah, because Larry made it. She couldn't have seen it before. The evidence is the thinker itself. It's simple. This clock was never in any store, ever. I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Phoenix, baby, we gonna do something about these these little lines of dialogue. They're a mess. You you really let that come out of your mouth and you thought that that was cute? Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse Woo, this is gonna be a long <laughs> trial. Ooh. Oh, she going Super Saiyan. <laughs> What's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die. Very extreme. Whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Th this is the court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Her, her, her. her head. Oh, 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 oh. Silly me, grunt. Did I, um, like, lose it? I guess I did, tee hee. Wink. Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain. I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because you had heard about it. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way that she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me the evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Okay, yeah, so remember the wiretap? That's how, because girl, she was listening in on the conversation. Miss Weeaboo was all up in the mix like, oh my God, what are they talking about? Uh oh, did that eat? I found this in Miss May's room. Even if that was the case, which there's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can. It's simple. What? <laughs> I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. <laughs> Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Nia, yeah, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, okay, actually there's something I want you to hold on for me. Again, what's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like a statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. La la lerf. <laughs> Her face in this, in this, in this sprite is funny as hell. Why she look like that? Not her crying, girl, shut the f up. No, no one cares. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Yeah, they should, now to deal with the final blow. All I did was a little wire tapping. Oops. So you admit you taped her phone. Taped, tapped, duh. I can't, English, whatever. I didn't do anything bad like murder. I'm a good girl. I just tapped her phone, you know, I just wiretapped her phone. I don't think that that's, you know, it's an invasion of privacy, but who the f cares? Like, it's just, what the f Okay, so the killing happened around 9 p.m. at night. Well, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy.
I'm the head bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel. In business for four generations. <laughs> Not even looking like that. <laughs> okay. This is really it. Now, this is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Um, I'm asking him about check-in because I think the white guy, the, the, whatever his name is, white, checked in with her. Tell me about when you checked in, Miss May. Oh, all right. Very well, sir. My first thought was she was a beautiful, beautiful person. Okay, we get it. You were horny. She just might talk. Okay, we get it. 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 Get Did Miss May check in with another person? Exactly. That's what I freaking thought. I object. That was objectionable. Shut up, Edgeworth. You're gay. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Mr. Edgeworth, who? Exactly. Mr. Edgeworth told you not to say anything. He asked me not to mention if I wasn't asked specifically. <laughs> Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. Very interesting, very interesting. So Miss May, Miss Weeaboo, checks in with a whole man, and then conveniently when the murder is going on, he's just not there. Very interesting, very interesting. Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Right, yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. Exactly. The bow boy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, my. What a convenient little setup, but it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. This court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. That is all today for the trial of my fate. Court is adjourned. Adjourned, 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 adjourned. No, Maya, you know, you're looking less ashy. That other attorney was pretty cool too. That face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips. It's investigation time. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fall in this May. I will. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be as. Girl, okay, well, you gonna have to deal with it. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it. Bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer. B bottom? Not him being more upset at the word bottom than. S oh. 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 So that's how he gets down. He doesn't get down that way. He likes to be on the other side. I won't specify, but you guys know what I'm saying. I can't tell, does she have something against lawyers or just me? No, you. You exude bottom energy. Can we present anything? Cause she is like just calling us a bottom and like, that's it. Not this horny boy. This horny boy who wants to touch on some booby. Quite the performance today if I dare say so myself. You shouldn't dare, you fucking bitch. Disgusting. 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 Our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. Okay. I think he's a bit concerned about the wrong things, okay? I'm gonna present I'm gonna present him the picture of the dude with the terrible hair. Um, because I bet that that's the guy. Take a look at this photo. Dot dot dot. That's him, detective. I don't think I need to talk to him anymore because that's all I really needed to see. Okay, so we're gonna present the affidavit. Um, because she's playing dumb and we need to tell her that we see right through her. The bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw, such as the man you checked in with, who was most definitely this guy. <laughs> there goes the face. There goes the, there goes the amazing face again. It'll be easy for me to hand this affidavit to the police. If they get involved, wouldn't your boss be even more, er, inconvenienced? All I want to do is have a little chat with him. You won't tell me? Is that all you have to say? Yes. If it's so easy for you to get the police involved, then why don't you? Oh my god, can we- Girl, just f it. Like, you you were trying to use up this little 15 seconds of fame too f***ing much. Just tell me the shit that I need to know. Strawberry shortcake looking ass bitch. He does seem troubled about something. Maybe I can find something that will inspire him to talk. I know. Let's see. Maybe it's this. Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Where'd you get that? It was on your table. Very well, I'll tell you what I know. However, you didn't hear it from me. If you follow, I follow. That man is Mr. Red White. Red White. <laughs> He's the president of Blue Corp. Oh my God. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> There's something like a detective agency, right? They're information pros. They sell information, you see. Sensitive information. Despite his name, Mr. White has the blackest reputation of any man in this country. Why it gotta be black? Why he gotta have the blackest? 
Are you insinuating that black is bad? That black is evil? That black is gross and disgusting? Racist ass fucking bitch. Should you run across him, watch what you say. You wouldn't want him digging up any dirt on you. Hmm. Selling information. Sounds like blackmail. Can you tell me where Blue Core is located? Hmm. I suppose. Okay. Love that. Mr. Red White. At last. Finally, a lead on this guy. Even if April May couldn't have done it, he could have. Remember when I said I'm gonna be voice acting this whole series? That was a lie. That was a lie. Welcome. Please furnish me with the title of your persona. Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Spl Splendiferous? Oh god, I hate you so much. Oh, the everything about you is terrible. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my gigantesk vocabulary. Oh my god, make it stop! Ah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the wordily challenged. What a fruitcake. <laughs> Phoenix said, I'm feeling homophobic. <laughs> Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secret. My secretariat. What shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She is paid to answer the phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. Girl, where she well, she did it. And I don't think she worked alone. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Very much that. Okay, the night of the murder. On the night of the murder, were you in Miss April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. Dot, dot, dot. No matter. The the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. Fucking bitch. F you whore. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. No way. What? It's almost like it has the fucking word in it. You're fucking lying. Yeah, you just are so patriotic, aren't you? You fucking purple motherfucker. F you. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple, or rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Da da da. Mr. Wrong, was it? It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, zibbo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney. Grody Burger. What? what, what? <laughs> Ung. Oof, did he hit me? Uh, uh, he, he punched me. Oh, well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do? Hmm? Charge me with assault? Oh my God, charge away, I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition, the police, the courts, they all do my bidding, so you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grossbergs, yeah. Then you must ask him, why is it that his painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. To speak muscular man, holding up the world. V very guy, if you ask me. I honestly, this whole office is very homoerotic. Like, he has these muscular men doing all of this stuff. Like, now they're sitting on the floor, just double cheeked up. It's giving me very much, um, gay. Okay, so let's talk about this dude. I think we should start with this one because we just saw him, so yeah. So I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, 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 I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just the painting. There was a giant painting hanging right there on the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with. He did say that. So you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a very large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected you say? Would it be so far off if we were to say that they're lovers? I just want to see what happens if we say you're lovers. It's not something I can claim to understand, but you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? W what? <laughs> My boy. 
<laughs> you said that face into him. As a sign, as a sign of undying love. <laughs> my, my boy, please. Where did you get these bizarre ideas? He has like naked men all over his office. And I'll, I'll swallow my pride and tell you. <laughs> he said this. He said I'm not, no, no, just shut the f up. I knew it. They are lovers. <laughs> Subscribing Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Right, we know this. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years. Girl, what you got to hide, Mr. Grossberg? Mr. Gay? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. I remember this. The name on the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians? Girl. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. Oh, that's what Mai was talking about. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Ooh. So she may have some clues in here and we're going to look for them now. The entire W section is missing. Ooh. Was it taken? Ooh, he already went through it. <laughs> she has a collection of suicide reports. They're politicians, policemen. Ooh. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. Right. I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. Ooh. Okay, we're done with that. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not penetrated your thick skull. I bet since I've walked into this office, you've thought of penetration, haven't you? Gay. I think we present this newspaper clipping. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia. She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word, white. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong, what is that you should be doing right now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Dot, dot, dot. Beep. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, chief prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietitude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner. The hatchet man. The liquidator. The killer man. What? Mr. White. This isn't another one of those, chief prosecutor. I do not believe you are in the position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. This fucking liar. I'm gonna say this. I I'm gonna say the word. I'm gonna. S I'm gonna say the f word. I'm gonna say the word. I can't believe he really did that. I can't believe he really did that. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me, and the prosecution will be on it, of course, Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refuse. I had an idea. I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does this man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well, defend me in court. Help me break out of here, cheer me on in court. Well, you could cheer for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean, like a cheerleader? Huh? Um, yeah, like that. 
All right, leave it to me. Huh? I'd better go get a uniform and some pom-poms. <laughs> I love Maya so much, Miss Ashy. Then come to the trial tomorrow. Oh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. This has just gone all out of whack. Times may change, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow it's me or him to be continued. In the next part, we're hopefully gonna put this white man in jail. This, um, disgusting white man in jail. I'll see you guys in the next one.